This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. We've got my co-host back with me this week. How are you doing, Robbie? Really good. All you right. and Kathy? I'm doing really well. It is May and it's Prater Willie Month too. It's Prater Willie Awareness Month. You've been really busy. Yeah, yeah, yes, I was. Yeah, you have uh, a schedule every day of things you can do to help celebrate Prater Willie Month with you. So all you have to do is either look on Robbie's Facebook page or Prater Willie Syndrome PWS for Ontario, right? And we can get a schedule we can celebrate with you. I'm going to throw it over to you. You've got a special guest here with somebody you've known for a very long time. Our guest today is Aiden Dan Fan from Smith Fox. She with the Lanark United Vining Ball Club. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Can you tell us about Atlanta United Volleyball Club? So Atlanta United Volleyball Club is a not-for-profit organization and it's organized by um, members um, that like don't get paid. So they do it all volunteer. When did you join? So I joined this September, so September 2023. But I've been watching Lanark United Volleyball Club since they started. What is like to be on a competitive team? I love being on a competitive team. As you know, I'm very competitive, Robbie. Um, but they also teach you like to how to value hard work. You need to work hard. You need to show up to practice and you need to show everyone that you're having a good time so you can play on court. How much did you practice to get ready for a competition? So we practice two nights a week, so usually Mondays and Thursdays for three hours, so six to nine. Um, but obviously that had to like stop for Christmas break and then we'd have to reschedule. But usually it was two days a week. You just played in the Ontario Championship. When did you complete? So we compete? Com so we competed April 25th to 27th. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I missed a bit of school. Um, and we usually played in the evenings, especially on Thursday and Friday, we played later in the day. Where did you play? So I played in Ottawa at the EY Center, right by the airport. How much teams completed from Lanark United? So in my age bracket, there were two Lanark United teams. What team? Where are you on? So I play for Lanark United White. How many games did you play? So on Thursday we played three games, Friday we played another three, and Saturday we played another three. So nine altogether. Your team did very well. Can you tell us everyone how did they how you do you did we did really well so on friday when we first got there we we played three games so on our first game we lost and our second game we lost and we were all a little down in the dumps but then our third game we rallied back and we won which was a great way to end the night and then we knew the next day we had to bring that winning attitude back then we ended up playing on saturday and won all three games so we just won four times in 24 hours. So we were so excited. Then Saturday came around when you have to play for a medal. And then we won our first game, won our second, but then we lost in finals. But we still got a silver medal. What, what was it like winning a silver medal in much a big competition? It was great. When you win your silver medal, we all we all cheered first, but then we went up 
to the main area and there was a big stage and you get called up onto the stage and there's an announcer and you like get given your medal and then you give your coaches a hug and then you go in front of the screen and you get photos taken by a photographer and all the parents. It was great. What happens now? Are you still competing? So now it's the end of the season. So we're done playing. We're done practicing. So now we just we just chill. Do you play any other sports? So I play a bunch of sports in school. I'm not going to do any sports outside of school this summer. But like I just played soccer yesterday for school and I do stuff like that. You you got a special place to put your silver medal? So I have my jerseys along with my silver medal hung up on my wall so as soon as someone walks in my room they can see it. Congratulations to you and your team and thank you for requesting Smith Falls. We are very proud of you and your team. Thank you. Can we talk a little bit more about this competition? Because I understand there was over a thousand teams. Yeah, so in so I'm in the 15U bracket and there's 13U all the way up to 18U, I believe. So for my bracket, there I don't know the exact number, but it's my guess, people there, there had to have been over 100 teams, for sure. Wow. wow. Um, and so it's, sp it's spread out to three days because of how many people are playing. And what happens is sometimes for different age groups, because you said there's like that 1,000 people, um, they need to like go to different places. So for example, the girls a year younger than me, they went to Waterloo. And for me, we, we were lucky and we got to go to the EY Center. And that was just the luck of the draw that you got to be yeah. because part of the competition was in Waterloo. Oh, yes. And some of our Landark uh, yeah. Volleyball Club did go to. Exactly, exactly, yeah. Exactly, exactly. I really like when you were talking about, you know, when you're learning how to play volleyball and everything, mm -hmm. the team sports, it's a team sport and you yes. know, the camaraderie, that sort of stuff. So that's all part of the Oh, yeah, the for sure. You can't, you can't win a game by yourself. It's everyone working together. And I think what we also learned was if there's one person who's not feeling it, that can bring the whole team down. So towards the end of the competition, what we were saying was like every circle matters. So every time anyone gets a point, you guys go in your circle and you cheer as loud as you can and you like keep the energy going. That's right. And that's all part of being a part of a team. Exactly. It's not just you out there. Mm -hmm. It's part of a team. So back again in September? Yes, and of course. And right now it's all just girls, right? Yeah, so <coughs> there's talk and we want to mm -hmm. have um, boys playing too. So there's girls teams and boys teams next year. Okay, and you practice twice a week. Where do you do that? So we go to many different schools. For me, we went to Chimo here in Smith Falls. And then Thursday nights we went to Stewart School in Perth. But that changed throughout the year. Like we also, we went to St. John's at one point. Um, I, some tryouts were even at, at SFDCI, like it was a bunch of the schools in our county. Okay, and when you, you're on a team, you have the same girls all the time too? Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Just there seems to be so many of you. Oh, like, yeah. Goodness. Yeah, yeah. So again, in September, you're back in the court? I'm going to try. Excellent. Yeah. Now, so you have to try out? Is that? Yeah, right? we all have to try out again. Okay, yeah. okay. Well, you got a silver medal around your neck, yeah. so that's probably going to be a, a good way to get in there too. Lovely. Uh, that's just a wonderful way to represent Smith Falls. We're so proud of you, and thank yeah. you very much for, for doing this. I understand Robbie even went down to see you yeah, play. Yeah, he did. Robbie and Mar. Yeah, we are down to see you play a game, so that was yeah. great, too. So yeah. Thank you very much for being here today. Thank I know you. you have to take time out of your busy schedule, <laughs> your school schedule, so we'll get you back to class, and uh, thank you again for representing Smith Falls and your whole team, your whole team. Thank you very much for joining us Thank you us so today. much. Thank you, Rob.